Hello people, welcome to the United Way. My name is Rob Dukan. I mean, if this is your first time here, guys, please make sure you click the like on the video and uh, join the community. We're a small community, very honest. Uh, yeah, we try to do videos every day. And uh, yeah, that's what we'll do today. We will be going for a very topical uh, topic <laughs> today that Eric Tenak is on the bridge of getting sacked. Um, before I continue these eight uh, minutes, I want to get your views. Tell me why you think Eric Tenak will be sacked why you did that decision that he should be sacked is it just because the two times four game and also uh tell me who you think should replace Eric ten Hag. and uh, just drop your comments below as usual uh, i reply to your comments and uh, tell me what how you think united can move forward because i mean i hate people who complain and don't fight for solutions and uh, that is uh what our african brothers actually saying saying they love complaining just like me you know sometimes but Help me out on that one. So let's go straight to the big news here. The big news is that we're already talking about, most outlets are talking about Ten Hag has two more games with Manchester United. I want to tell you guys why I think Ten Hag might stay. Um, uh, yeah, I think he might stay. <laughs> so, well, I want to tell you guys why. Not because I want him, because I put my hand up. I think Ten Hag deserves to be sacked. If, he, if football is that easy, uh, as us, most of us discuss, we talk about it, then Ten Hag has to be sacked. The results are not there. The football is in there. And uh, the players aren't responding to what he's saying. That's what I see. But there are some issues what I think ten, why I think Ten Hag could stay. And I'm going to tell you guys right now. But before we move on, I want to say uh, uh, there is this story uh, that they're talking about. FFE explains uh, how Ten Hag, Eric Ten Hag, how much ten Manchester United will have to lose if we close to like $20 million for Ten Hag to be sacked. You know, there are some, also some fees that have to be paid. Because what happens is, I think most of you in the community don't understand the way football works. I've heard people say, go and buy Mbappe for $2 billion or $2 trillion. Well, I'm exaggerating, but I'm trying to tell you guys that football is a business. For most of the fans watching this, especially my community, they're very good at making all these figures out. Football is a business. There's a way to buy players. Manchester United is an epidem epidemic of, uh, of, uh, of football. In the sense, not playing, but the club. The club is the wealthiest, it's the Dutch Cabana out there. So for, for for Manchester United to get a product, which is 5 million, they will always buy for premium. It's just normal because they are that type of club. It's not they want because the market has put Manchester United up there. City has been winning trophies all this way, all this while, but you don't go anywhere and see City. By the way, I make I made yesterday um, in a sport, is it? I don't want to make an advertisement, Sport Direct here yeah, in the UK I met. Um, uh, an American guy from a man like in his 70s on um, uh, and he's a Manchester City fan he was like your manager that was yesterday your manager will be sacked today that he's not get gelling the team is not gelling <laughs> well I say he had a point but guess what he shouldn't forget that just some couple of months ago we are the cup holders of the English uh, the English cup holders and they are the you know the league hold holders so um Coming back to what I'm trying to say, the reason why I think Manchester United might not sack Eric Ten Hag will be these two games. We're playing again one of the European top clubs, that's FC Porto. That is on the 3rd of October in three days' time. And uh, later, we will play against uh, Aston Villa on Sunday. These are two very vital games for Eric Ten Hag's job. Which means, if Eric Ten Hag can manage not to lose both of the games, I just think that Ten uh, I think that the Manchester United board will sit, or we, we, we make a decision after those two games. So all this noise of Tenag is sacked now is just for views. I'm telling you that all this noise that Eric Tenag will be sacked. This is why he should be. Look, talking as we are speaking is cheap. Nobody who has come and said Tenag sack has come out and said a solution why they think uh, why they think should sack. Everybody knows. So either he's a bald like me. But nobody so talks about who comes in and does a better job. We have been hearing that the manager of Aston Villa, Manchester United, should go to the man, go for the manager of Aston Villa. The thing is that the manager of Aston Villa, what's his name? The name just went on my head. Sorry, guys. I'm also I can be a, I'm be strange. He's uh that I'm in a hotel, guys. You can listen. The, the ladies might come in the hotel. They want to clean the hotel, so don't be distracted because I'm listening already here behind me. They might knock the door, I want to come to the hotel. So uh, I was saying that, you know, look, the manager of, uh, if we go to the manager of, for the manager of, uh, of, uh, of Aston Villa, this is a manager who has coached Arsenal. Arsenal is not a bigger club than Manchester United. By the way, my taxi driver is an, Ars <laughs> is an Arsenal player. Um, it's not um, a big um, 
Arsenal is not the bigger club than Manchester United. The difference, I did a video yesterday. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. My videos are not even seen. You know, I did a video yesterday. I cannot even see my videos. I just don't know what's going on. I need a specialist on YouTube to help these videos go through because I don't. I just don't understand. It's not placed on people. I know maybe I'm talking crap, but anyway, I'm doing this. One of the reasons I'm going forward without doing a video, with, I mean, with this, without even, you know, well, <laughs> I'm getting no views, basically, and doing videos is because I love what I, I do. I mean, I love my club. I talk about my club. I feel free expressing myself. Unlike many people who just come in on different communities and just, you know, say the crap. But it will be helpful if most of you come who are here to share these videos. That's how we move on forward. So I think the reason why I think uh, uh, the, the president, Lo, uh, is it Lopatole? No, it's not him. Name just went out. Let me just went out to my head. The, the, the Aston Villa coach, right? Mm. What's his name? Uh, Villa coach. Let me go. Uh, one of the reasons why I think he cannot. Uh, 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 <laughs> okay, Una Emery. Yes, Una Emery. One of the reasons I think Una Emery cannot do well in Manchester United is because of the expectation. We go and buy Una Emery for 50 million. He comes to Manchester United. Bruno Fernandes does what he wants to do. He starts benching Bruno. Bruno Fernandes has at least 5% of United fans love them. The, 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 football, the player FC comes into play. You, go, you, come, you, you start having a, a situation which happened with Jason Sancho and Bruno Fernandes. Uh, um, Emery comes in. He uses a player. Rashford, Marcus Rashford doesn't play. The FC Rashford comes into play. I'm using these two players because they are so enormous in our team. I have told you guys that the best way for United to go forward as a football club, the only way United survive this as a football club is for Manchester United to just even sell these players, right? We should build a team from people of, from, uh, of players who want to, want to do the minimum. What I saw in that game against, Aston, against Tottenham is that we were not even wanting to run. We are not gelling. We, I mean... Players have to be, this is a team game. If it was a long tennis, it would have been easier. But this is a team game where you expect, you obviously expect uh, uh, players to gel each other. You don't have to be friends. Romario played with Stoichkov. All of you are young. You might not even know these two players. But they, they, made, they won the Champions League. They won the La Liga. They, they were just very good. You, you could play with players. Which they are not friends. Roy King wasn't friends with Schumacher, but they won many trophies as players. So it's all about gelling. But today, the football of today has made me. I am a bit worried. I even think that if if, if um, say Alex Ferguson was manager of Manchester United today, he would not stay that long. Because most of you, the young fans, we keep talking about players, but we forget about the fans because it's also about the fans. And because United, it's like the. The light on the hill, everybody, you make a name from United. I'm not saying that I'm the best person, I know everything. That's not my point. What I'm trying to say is, I think we are making a big mistake here. I did a video yesterday talking about it could be the expectation from the fans because we are shit, because we are not a good team. I'm talking about the collective of Manchester United isn't that good. But what I want to say is, I just think that the best way forward for Manchester United is to uh, do the basics. But I won't leave here by concluding on what I've said. I think my uh, electorate can, can, can go through this one. The reason is, I, I can tell you guys that the game on Porto, against Porto, will really decide if Eric Tenaz is sacked or not. Because if we go, to, if we go to, to Portugal and win that game, which I think we might not win, because we have very weak mentality players, then I think that the story changes. We come to Villa. Last year, we beat them in Villa. I think it's easier to beat Villa, who is a good team, than beating, uh, uh, than, than beating Porto. Because, uh, and this is where we come back about, we were talking that we should have players like um, Amrabat, players who are physical in the midfield. This is what it comes, that it comes with. I said when last season that the biggest place United need to pump in players was the midfield. We need those players. Bruno, you won't count on Bruno. And uh, in regards to Bruno, I just think Bruno, this is his last season of Manchester United. He needs to go. I mean, if Saudi Arabia comes with any cash, we should just let the player go. It doesn't make any sense. I was crying here for the Spanish ten, the, the playmaker for Spain who has gone to Barcelona. But anyway, guys, uh, my question for this video, what I want to do is give a small reaction, ask you guys your position in regards to Eric Tenag. Are you Eric Tenag out? And uh, explain to me why you think you're out because... 
I've never been a 10 out, out as uh, because I look at football from a different angle, not only the goals, the scoring, I look at football from the global angle. And I think even the board does that. The only reason why the board could sack Ten Hag, it would be based on not only on the results, on base, may, it may be based on the vision. You remember in the beginning of, of the season, the, the Manchester United board said, it wouldn't be actually the results. We want to see the football if we have a playing style. And um, that's what I think in some way they are satisfied with the way we play, not the way we concede goals and don't score, but the way we play, there have been some slight improvement. But I think decision will be made based on that, not based in if we win or lose. So now tell me what you think, guys. Thanks for the short video. If you watch till now, you're a legend. Thanks to all of you. All of those of you who are members, thank you, are the ones helping to pay for this, my little movement around. Um, and yeah, with that all said, guys, uh, talk to you. I'll be doing my preview against portugal uh porto in the coming hours so stay tuned share the video like and uh talk to you soon bye bye